today's video is just a simple get ready video with you. I have a couple new products here that I want to try out, like the iconic eyebrow duo thing. It looks like this. If you haven't seen my Boxy Charm video already, I will link it right here for you guys. I also want to try out my new set of Lily Lashes that I also got in the Boxy Charm video. And there's just a couple things here that I want to play around with. So in the future videos, since you guys um, hopefully have already seen the Boxy Charm, I will play around with the new Morphe palette that I got, the Cranberry palette, in another video. This video, I want to do something more colorful because I am going out for my girlfriend's birthday. It is her, it was her birthday yesterday, so we're going out today. So without further ado, let's just jump on into the video. So I'm going to be using the James Charles palette as usual because it's just the most colorful palette that I have and I love the formula. So if you are unfamiliar with the James Charles palette, it looks like this. It's this rainbow palette and it's really gorgeous. So I'm gonna play around with some blues and purples and just create a look with it. And then I'm gonna pair it with my half black and half gray wig. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So without further ado, I'm gonna zoom you guys in, prime my face using the No Problem Pore Primer. And yeah, so I am using this primer. It is the No Pore Problem Primer and I really like it. I personally don't find that Primers really do a whole lot for my skin. I just haven't really noticed a big difference between using a primer and not using a primer, so um, I don't actually know if it works that well, but I'm gonna use it up anyway because we got it in a boxy charm and I wanna use it. So I am priming my face with the primer and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop concealer in the shade Fair 06 and I'm just going to put that all over my lids. And then I'm going to blend it in with a Morphe sponge. All right, so I'm actually not too sure what I want to do, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. So I'm going to go in using my Luxie double-ended brush, and I am going to go in using the shade... I think I'm going to do a blue and purple and green kind of look, just kind of stick to like mermaid colors. So I'm going to go in using the color Skip, which is like a hot pink and I'm gonna put that all in my crease. And then using a Luxie angled brush, this is the mini 131 brush, I'm gonna go in using the color single. And it's a lighter purple color and I'm just gonna go right underneath my crease, right inside my crease with where that pink is and I'm just gonna blend the purple in. Now on the actual eye portion of the eye, I'm gonna go in with the color playground. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. So this is the mini angled, flat angled 111 brush by Lexi. And I'm gonna go in with the blue and I'm just going to blend it into the purple. And then I'm gonna go back in with the angled mini brush and I'm just gonna go in with the purple, intensify it and blend the colors all together. So this is the color Escape that I'm adding into with the purple to just deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back in using my blender brush and the color Skip and I'm just going to intensify the purple and the pinks together. And then on the outer corner, I am gonna go in with a darker blue. So I'm gonna go in with the color Cola. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and drag it into the purple a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with that smaller brush, the Lexi Mini 101 brush. I'm gonna go back into Cola and I'm just going to intensify the outer corner with the blue. And then I'm going to go back in to the color single. And I'm just going to re-intensify that light purple. I'm going to go back into cola. And just re intensify the blue. And then finish off with going in with skip. So now that that's all done, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have both of the eyes done, um, I am gonna go in using a flat side of the brush. So I'm gonna go in using my other side, the blue side that I use, and I'm gonna go into the color Hello, which is a shimmery blue. It's like an ice 
bluey color and I'm gonna go in using the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay and I'm going to add that to the blue portion. And then I'm going to blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with the color Playground and I'm just going to blend it all in seamlessly. So you just add a little, a little bit of a shimmer to it. So now I'm gonna go back into color hello again and I'm gonna do it on the other side. Then I'm gonna go back in with playground. So I just wanted to add just that little bit of shimmer in on the center just because I thought it was really pretty. Now I'm going to clean up my outer corners. So if you guys are unfamiliar, I'll do it really quickly. So I just take cotton rounds from the drugstore and I take whatever makeup, liquid makeup remover you have and I wet one of them, I fold it in half like this and then I just go in and I clean up the edges. And I go in and I do it on the other side and I clean up any of the fallout that is under my eyes. So now I'm quickly going to go in and I'm going to do my foundation and my concealer and then I will probably, yeah, I'm going to go in and do my foundation and my concealer and then I will come back so we can do these, these, this iconic um, eyebrows um, together. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the iconic now. So this is what it looks like. So it is a, I would say it's like a gel. So I'm going to use the brush that I always use. So I just use an angled brush like this to do my um, eyebrows. So I'm curious to know if they put a screen protector on the mirror and there isn't like a thing to pull it off. There we go. Okay. So it looks like this. It comes with a brush, but I'm gonna use my own brush. So I'm just going to go into the lighter side because I have lighter hair and the wig that I'm gonna be wearing tonight um, has a light and dark side, so I'm not gonna do my brows too dark. So I'm gonna go in using the light side. Okay, so it's like a sponge. It is really, 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 really strange. I have never used anything like this. It's like a sponge material, and as your brush glides over it, it gives the product. It's really weird. I'm just gonna fill in my brows as normal. So, so far, first impression, I really like this product. The only thing that I want to change with using this product is I want to go in using my NYX Precision Brow Pencil first, just so that I can um, get the outline of my brow done a little bit more precise because I suck at it with, with a brush. So I'm just gonna go in quickly with my pencil, get the shape that I want. And then once I have the basic shape down, um, I'm just gonna go in using that lighter side. Now the only thing that I would say um, that I prefer the ABH Brow Gel over is I find that, that the ABH Brow Gel is a little bit of a heavier product, so I find that it weighs down the hair more so it stays in the direction that I want it to go, whereas this product isn't really a gel. I wouldn't really call it a gel. It it does smooth down the hair, but I have a feeling that it's not gonna stay put it for as long as the ABH Brow Gel does. But so far, it is a really good product. Um, I suck at brows, so don't at me. Um, but I'm gonna quickly go in and do the other side, my foundation and concealer, and then I will be right back so we can put on some lashes, some liner, and yeah. Okay, so now that I have my full face of makeup on, I have to do some liner. So I'm gonna do a winged liner. So I'm gonna use the Pretty Gel um, Gel Liner to do that. And I am going to do it on a very petite angled brush. Um, this is a definer brush by the company Made You Look. So I'm just going to quickly do a winged liner. So that's how I do a winged liner. It's Pretty simple, but at the same time, it takes a lot of practice. So I'm gonna quickly go in and do the other side, and I'll be right back. A lot of the times, the corners look for me, and that's just kind of how my eyes are. I don't really know how to fix it most of the time, so I just kind of leave it. Okay, so to finish off this look, I want to do some waterline liner. So I'm gonna go in using the 
Rimmel, I believe it's Rimmel London, where are you? Yes, the Rimmel London uh, Scandalize, so I'm just gonna do some waterline. And then I'm gonna go in using the Butter London Decker Lashes, the double, de the double Decker Lashes by Butter London. And I didn't do any eyeshadow underneath my eyes this time because I think I just want to leave it as the top of the eyes just being the center of attention. So I'm not gonna do um, any colors on the bottom. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I think the last thing that I need to do is do some highlight and throw on my wig. So I am gonna go into the Cover FX palette. So this is a palette that I got in the Boxy Lux this month. So there is some really pretty highlighters. There's this really gorgeous pink one, and there is this really gorgeous gold one. So I think there's also a white highlighter in there as well. So I'm going to throw on a little bit of oil on my cheeks, as I always do, on my high points, on my nose, and on my mouth. My cupid's bow. And so I'm gonna go in using Tapered Highlight Brush by Lexi, and I'm gonna go into the color, I think I'm gonna go into the gold kind of champagne color, and I'm just going to put that on my high points and see what that looks like. So that's a pretty highlight, but it's not like overly blinding. I'm used to Jeffree Star's highlight being instant, so I'm gonna go in with the brightener and just see if putting that down is better. Yeah, that's a really, really pretty highlight. It's a really, really gorgeous white highlight and it's really stunning. I think that's really pretty, especially for a travel palette. I wouldn't have to bring another palette with me just for highlights, so I think that's really pretty. So I'm gonna go in and do the same thing on the other side using the champagne first and then the white highlight over top. I think this is a really gorgeous highlight just for, for a travel palette. I think it's really, really pretty. And there's also a blush in here that I wanna try. So I'm gonna go in using my just my blush brush, and I'm just gonna go into the blush shade and add it to my cheeks. Really, really pretty kind of rose blush. I don't wanna to use too much just because I don't really like blushes that much, but I think that's really pretty. So now, that's a really pretty highlight palette and a face palette. I think it's really gorgeous. The blushes are really pretty. The highlight is really gorgeous. It's just not blinding enough for me personally. I am so used to using Jeffree Star's Platinum Ice Palette that I'm gonna go in and use this over top. So I'm gonna go in with Ice Cold and just brighten this up a little bit. There we go, there's that blinding highlight that I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose and my chin, or and my, my chin, my Cupid's bow. I think that is absolutely stunning. So the last thing that I need to do is I need to throw on my wig and a lipstick. So I don't know what lipstick I want to use yet, if I'm going to just leave them nude or if I'm going to use a color, but I'm going to quickly go grab my wig and I will be right back. All right, so this is the finished look once I have my wig on. The last thing that I need to do is I need to throw on a liquid lipstick. So this is Jeffree Star's Can't Relate. It's a nude color and it is my favorite nude. So this is what the finished look looks like once I have my lipstick on and my hair all done. So I need to go and fix part of this wig because it is really ratty and really tangled in some spots. I need to go recurl some of the spots. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join my ever growing family. We are at 800 and I believe six or seven subscribers right now and that just blows me away. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys at my next one. Bye.